after installing hook uh, you uh, will find uh, you have to open a new template a new template and you have to go in uh, uh, new hook template here hook template and you have to press the uh, last uh, version of the template so open what it will change well, what will change uh, it will change uh, uh, the position and the number of the view uh, inside the uh, interface of uh, rhino so you will find first of all a new geometry a sphere that uh, uh, it will uh, represent represent the uh, the panel inside the scene mm? and uh, this uh, you uh, will have uh, three uh, different projection of the uh, different uh, sorry you, you will find different view of the sphere uh, an isometric view a top view and a view from the center of the uh, of the sphere if you want to uh, look around uh, and uh, visualize different uh, uh, part of the sphere just without moving the camera uh, you have to press ctrl plus alt and the right button of the mouse now you are uh, looking around without moving uh, the position of the camera that is in the center of the of the sphere uh, and if you want to uh, zoom in or zoom out it's not possible because zoom in and uh, zoom out uh, uh, means uh, moving the position of the camera but maybe you have to you can change you can change the the lens the the, the length uh, of the length uh, just uh, pressing uh, Control plus alt plus shift and the right button of the mouse so you can uh, zoom in or zoom out without moving the position of the uh, of the camera uh, if i move again around uh, the target if you want to move the target without moving the position of the camera control plus alt right button of the mouse so you are changing the position of the target but you are not changing the position of the camera that is the perfect way to uh, to move and uh, and manage the the camera what I have to do now uh, the other uh, the template provide also to add uh, to add uh, um, new layers, uh, uh, layers and sub layers. Here you have uh, panel one, panel two, and panel three, with inside uh, other layers, uh, CRVH, CR, CRVV, CRV frame. The first one is the layer that uh, collect the panel shape. Mm? The second one is uh, uh, a layer that, that will collect the horizontal constraint. Uh, the third one will collect uh, the vertical constraint. And the last one, the last sub layer, uh, will collect uh, the frame that define the area, the area that you want to uh, planarize and uh, uh, see in the correct uh, uh, shape and dimension uh, another important part is the um, um, is the collection of materials that uh, uh, are inside the template panel one is the uh, material linked to the uh, sh this shape panel two is linked to <coughs> another shape not the shape inside panel one, panel one but this one is another shape inside the, the layer panel 2 and the linked with uh, the material panel 2 and so on hmm? okay now I want to work with uh, panel 1 
and I want to upload uh, a picture to that shape. Mm? So I open the materials tab and I want to upload, I want to assign a texture to that shape. So click to assign the texture and what I can do is uh, select the uh, um, uh, the picture open and after a few seconds you can see the texture around the shape now it's possible in the panel 360 visualization moving uh, the target without moving the camera okay the camera is in the center of the sphere okay if uh, i if uh, i am interested in uh, this elevation i have to find one or more one or more horizontal constraints on this elevation and uh, that is what i want to do now okay first of all uh, i want to create an horizontal constraint one here and another one here mm -hmm. so layer horizontal constraint who oh, i can i can draw uh, um, a curve on on the sphere it's easy uh, you have to use uh, in curve tools and uh, in the cascade curve from object uh, the correct tool is uh, geodesic curve geodesic curve is useful to create the shortest line between two points that is what i want now so i can work inside the, the panel 360 view or in the isometric view the first curve i want to generate the first curve by working inside the, the isometric view so what i want is are ah, two constraints on this uh, facade hmm? so select surface for creating a short curve between two points on the surface uh, and the surface that i want is the panel and i have to uh, use two points for example these points and another point this one okay now it's correct and uh, this curve is uh, curved as you can see it's curved but from the uh, panel 360 view it simulates uh, a straight line hmm? I can choose another one now from the I want to work uh, inside the, this view the panel 360 view and I can generate the geodesic curve selecting the panel and with control plus alt plus shift I can zoom in from the area that I want to work on Okay, one point and another one. Okay. So control alt and shift. Okay, perfect. Now it's correct. And uh, just add a metadata to the to a curve that you know. For example, I know the length of the real length of this line so you have to add the real length of the of one uh, of the um, constraint that you used so i have to add the length uh, in which way we can know uh, uh, the length of the line maybe uh, by measuring in the reality or you can uh, see inside uh, Google Maps or in uh, Google Earth 
there are different ways to know the real dimension of uh, one constraint that you use. So in the property, there is a way inside the Rhino 7 to, uh, to connect uh, a geometry with a metadata. So I want to add the length and the value of the length uh, that is uh, 35. In my case, it's 35 watt meters. That is the that is the unit of uh, um, of the template. Perfect. If you have installed the uh, hook here, you will find the component of hook, and uh, the component the component are divided in three tabs. The first one is for input, then the solver and the utility. There are different uh, 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 code that you can create by using uh, these components, but what I want to show now is the base code. The base code is composed by the solver, and every time when you use the code, you have to use also the slider and the Galapagos component. These three elements every time are linked together, are linked together in this way. First of all, you can connect to genome of the solver, the slider with this input. And fitness number with fitness of Galapagos. The genome is the slider, so you have to connect the genome with the slider. So every time you have to collect these three components and connect together hmm, in this way. What I need now? I need the horizontal constraints and uh, uh, to facilitate the uh, collection ah, of okay. horizontal so, uh, what we have to do curves is to uh, it's possible sorry, to it's use uh, thing that uh, elephant you have the last version of elephant uh, before this uh, here you uh, can uh, create inside the of the tab code. reference and uh, you can you use to uh, to reference rhyme. by layer and uh, another component inside the input of grasshopper you can find uh, um, value list when you connect the value list in the reference by layer here you can see all the layer inside your template your rhino template what i need now the horizontal curve inside panel one and here you can see two referenced planar curve that we have again with uh, elephant you have to deconstruct with get elephant attributes to obtain geometry and attributes hmm? okay so two curves and two attributes but just one is uh, just one curves is connected with uh, the length attribute and what i have to do now i have to collect uh, the frame of the area that i'm interested in the area is this part of the area so by using the geodesic it's possible to create a frame okay now frame uh, and uh, by using the now by using this layer i can create a frame around the, fr the elevation that i'm interested in so geodesic curve curve frame so uh, select surface for creating a short curve between two points on the surface that is the surface first line uh, enter second line third line connected with the previous two 
and last line. Here there is a frame. Perfect. Now again inside uh, um, Grasshopper. In which way I can collect the frame by copy and past these two components and changing the uh, the layer pano 1 sub layer CRV frame last element to collect is the target pano control C control V and what I need is the pano 1 perfect now there are all the inputs and now what I want to in the base code what we can uh, obtain is the real shape and the real dimension of the ele ele uh, of the chosen uh, elevation so if I want to see so what I want to do now I want to hide all these components and I can uh, maximize the top view and now I want to see my elevation in the 2D plane that is possible by using uh, the uh, inside the display tools there is uh, custom preview and uh, mesh surface uh, connected to the geometry of the custom preview here there is uh, a rectangle but inside this rectangle I want to see the real dimension and the real shape of the chosen elevation so I have to create a text tool that is equal to the text tool around the sphere so in param primitive and shader inside the shader I can collect right click set one material pano one material and connect to the custom preview in this kind of visualization is impossible to see uh, the result so I have to switch in rendered mode this is uh, not a correct uh, visualization of my uh, image so now it's time to use uh, Galapagos okay so double click double click on Galapagos the option that you have to check is the fitness that is maximize not minimize but maximize and then uh, switch on solver and start solver okay okay it takes a little bit time okay finish and now this is the real shape and the real dimension of the elevation it possible to verify by using geometries so I can create a rectangle from this point to this point it seems uh, almost vertical but it's okay here it's almost vertical but it's okay control shift and move just to verify here horizontal it's okay and uh, I can work on this one and uh, oh no I can work in that way press this here okay perfect so if I want to verify I can use the dimension 
okay. Here, from here to here, one, okay. Okay. And, okay, almost good. Now I can measure the part of the object. And uh, this geometry from here to here, okay, and so on.